Okay, step one in kidney removal. I'm gonna loosen the clamps. These have been pretty much pre-loosened already. Remove the, this one clamp here, this one connector here, and then it should just pull away. That's it. There's kidneys. We'll get these out of here. Okay, now after we've got it removed, we've got the intake removed, now we're going to focus on removing the kidneys. And, uh, and then we're going to install these nice billet plugs that Frank Raymond milled up for us. If anybody's interested, he'll, he'll be glad to supply these to you. And uh, all you need is just a way to secure them. I've got these nice hose clamps right here. And to kind of make them discreet, I thought that I might add some um, maybe some shrink wrap to them. You could also if so desire you could use tie wraps a nice black tie wrap that's another option. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the C clamps today. Anyway first step I'm gonna take a little adult uh, beverage. Now I've already removed one of the clamps as you can see I'm going to take the other one off. It's pretty straightforward. Just get yourself a nice heavy duty set of dykes. Just grab hold of it. A couple of twists. Come on, baby. You can do it. And it should come off after a fashion. it. Got that off. Now this should just pull right away. Pretty straightforward. And uh, this is history. Now I'm gonna insert the two plugs. Go in pretty straightforward. Make sure they're they're flush, and then I have I'm going to put this on shortly, but uh, basically these will go over that, and we'll get to that in a second. That's next. Okay, now we're going to go to step two. I'm going to prep the C clamps. As you can see here, I've already. Put a piece of shrink sleeving on here, and I've used a heat gun to make, clean it up, make it nice and tight. Pretty much simple, simple process. Just kind of straighten it out so it doesn't bind too much when you're slipping it on. Just kind of slide it on. Oh, it's supposed to just slide on. It did before. There we go. And you don't really need to bring it all the way back to the screw, like this one here, if you notice, I went only so far. Because this is going to be in the back, this is going to be out of sight. We're going to have this position back here to where nobody can see it. I mean, to, I mean, to the rear, where nobody will see it like that. And then uh, just break out the heat gun. And start shrinking it. And uh, when I'm done, I'll we'll come back and we'll do the final steps. Okay, we're on the next step now. I've, as you can see, I've shrunk wrap all these just fine now. I've already secured one. Looks pretty good. And again, this will be from the front, so nobody that's what people will see basically right there. And uh, it kind of slips on pretty straightforward. I put it on that way for that one. Do the same for this. Just kind of line it up best I can right there. And just uh, tighten it up. And that's pretty much it. We'll come back, we'll finish this off, and we'll put it back in the car. Okay, here we are, final step. We're going to install 
Frank's design as you can see it's nice and clean should uh, go in pretty nice and we just have to secure the, these two guys and that's it pretty much it. Not a whole lot to it. There you go. I think, uh, I think it looks pretty nice. You can see it's uh, pretty discreet. Goes in pretty easy. Just a couple of parts run, run to the hardware store and she was done. Hope everybody enjoyed. Thanks, Raymond. Looks great. Bye. There you go. No kidneys. Hope everybody enjoyed.